Hi everyone. Today I will be doing Mason's three month update. He turned three months on Wednesday, February 6th. He now weighs um, 13 pounds, 8 ounces, and he is 23 and a half inches long. So he has gained 3 pounds, 8 ounces since last month. Look, he's waking up. Um, his eye color, he still has really dark gray eyes, but they're turning a little bit brown, so I think he is going to have brown eyes like me. We were had our fingers crossed that he would get blue eyes like his dad, but he looks just like his dad, so I'm happy he's at least got my brown eyes and my nose. Um, milestones, he's still doing the same thing. He is making eye contact following objects. Now he's smiling at me and my husband and not just the ceiling fan. So he smiles so much and he talks a lot. He is talking non-stop when he's awake. He talks to me, we tell little stories to each other. Well, actually I just tell him stories and he just responds, I think. Um, he is turning into a happier baby. He's not as angry. Every once in a while he'll have a bad day. and. Like Monday, he had a bad day where he just cried all day long, no matter what I did. I couldn't do anything right. But he's, he's getting a lot better. Um, he doesn't have to be held as often. I put him down on his jungle play mat, and he will play on that thing for 10 minutes. He's enjoying tummy time a lot better. I can lay him down on that mat, and he'll do tummy time for about 10 minutes, and he just talks away. He loves it now. Uh, we are still breastfeeding. This is our third month of breastfeeding and it's getting a lot easier. I know at the very beginning it was very, very difficult and all you new parents who are struggling with breastfeeding, just keep trying. It takes practice. Um, like I said, we're on our third month and he's doing a lot better. I still have to help him out a bit. Um, he's not perfect. Um, at home, we're, we do really good. I'm trying to practice out in public but it's really, really hard. I'm really self-conscious about it, and uh, it's just, it's a struggle. We're uh, planning a trip at the end of this month, the end of February, and I want to make sure we're down on our breastfeeding in public because we will be flying, and I don't want to have to take any bottles because I don't know what the process is when uh, we go through the checkpoint. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Yeah. So, he's got better head control. He, uh, we practice moving him, uh, we practice talking to him on different sides to make him use his head, like at him looking at himself. So, uh, I'll be on his left side and call his name so he looks to the left, he looks to the right. I just want to make sure he is, has good hearing and he's moving his head around. He tries to stand up a lot when we're trying to burp him. He, he puts his legs really stiff to try and stand up. It's really funny. My husband doesn't like it because he says, because we can't really burp him too well when he's trying to stand up. As far as his hair, it hasn't, I know a lot of people say it falls out, but he still has all of his hair. It's getting longer and longer. I sent a picture of him to my mom on Wednesday when he, on his three month anniversary and she said he is a chunky baby. He is so, she says, what are you feeding him? He is way too fat. But I think he's normal. He's as chunky as he should be, I guess. Um, he has not rolled over yet. I know he rolled over at seven weeks. I missed it. I can't believe I missed it. I laid him down and was trying to open a new toy that we bought for him. And I, when I looked back over, he was on his back. I was so disappointed that I missed it. He hasn't done it again, but we're we're trying. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, he is too big for baths in the sink now. He so he has graduated to the big bathtub. We still put him in a um, blow up rubber ducky tub, and that's where he takes his baths now, since he is too big for the sink. And he loves bath time. I don't know. Look at him smiling. 
I don't know if other babies also like it, but he loves it. He could be screaming at the top of his lungs, and as soon as you put him in that water, the warm water, he just, oh, he loves it. His, he gets so calm, and he's smiling, and he, his little, he moves his little legs and his arms. He just, he loves it. He doesn't like getting dressed, though, and it's time to get lotioned up. There he is, back screaming again. But for the most part, he likes it. As far as his sleep schedule, it's still the same. He sleeps till about 2 or 3, gets a bottle, and then he sleeps till 6. We are, however, weaning him out of our bed into a bassinet. So after his last bottle at night, I rock him to sleep and then lay him down in his bassinet. And he does really well in there. Um, the, it's, uh, we've just been doing that for the last week. And so far, it's been working. He sleeps in there, wakes up, I get him a bottle, and then he falls back asleep. I lay him back down, and he sleeps in there. So he's adjusting really well. I think it has a lot to do with swaddling. I now swaddle him in those sheer blankets, and I keep him, I swaddle him really tight. So he sleeps really well. He sleeps really, really long. And, I enjoy it because I have my space back. You don't realize how much space you have in your bed when you have to share it with the newborn. So I'm glad he's in his bassinet now. Um, he does not like to be held like a baby anymore. He wants to sit upright so he can look around. I know my husband hasn't is having a hard time with that. He still wants to hold him like a baby. And he does cry when you hold him like a baby because he wants to sit up and look around. He's really interested in the TV now, which I don't really like. I don't want him to watch TV. But anytime it's on, he is staring at it. Especially after a bottle and we're burping him. His little head is turned towards the TV and he's just hypnotized. It's, it's really kind of cute. Well, I guess that's everything new with Mason. Here's my big boy. Look at those chunky little legs. Um, thank you for watching.